different when you're wearing it? Yeah, it's heavy. It's, it's real heavy. But, you know, it, I mean, it probably give you a little neck strength in the game. You know, you get a little extra workout on the field. So, you know, it, it, it's ugly, but, it, you know, it, it's the right thing to do. You guys, you guys goof around about them when you put them on, how they look? Oh, for sure. You know, especially, you know, we, we thought like only a certain amount of teams were doing it. But now it's, you know, it's almost league-wide. So at the end of the day, man, they know what's going on for the it's, uh, as far as better safety for, our, um, for CTE, you know, in the long run and our concussion. So we just got to deal with it. Mike said some guys thought the stripes were a good idea. Does the stripe help you seeing I, the stripe on you? Oh, you talking about putting the stripe on top of it? Yeah. I mean, it don't really matter. It's the same thing. It's still, still going to feel the same at the end of the day. Well, how does it feel to be healthy this season? We talked a lot about you. Huh? Man, for sure, man. You know, it's feeling good. Uh, you know, uh, out here just flying around, trying to make as many plays as I can. You know, continue to progress each and every day. You know, stacking days day by day. How do you feel this ramp up period is, is you know, getting you guys ready for what you do with the pads? Man, it's, it's fun. You know, uh, being able to come out here with no pads on just for a while. You know, a lot of vet guys, this is how they, this is how they normally practice. So, you know, putting the pads on really just going to intensify the contact. But at the end of the day, you got to practice every day like you got pads on to protect yourself. Talk to Robert and Caleb at all about the, the ACL recovery stuff. Yeah, man. You know, we sit around every day and, and see the same thing. People talk about it. You know, we, and we know it's a timetable. We know how long it really takes. You know, the daughter can say one thing, but your body got to tell you something else. How different was it for you going from this this calm week to, mm -hmm. to pads the next week? Oh, next week. I mean, I'm a defensive player, so you know I like to put the pads on. I want to tap, sir. But what with the ACL? Thing? Was it, was oh, it back last year. Yeah. Oh, for sure, it's gonna be it's gonna be way different when they put pads on because they're gonna have to really plant and really feel the contact. You know, and people are gonna be running to you. So, so to be able to um to be able to hold that up is gonna be is gonna be tremendous. It's nice for you to have familiarity here. You know everybody. You know, it's just a line and everything. Yeah. yeah. Man, it's fun. You know, be I come out here and know the guys how they move already, knowing what's going on. Man, it's a tremendous way to start the season. Yeah. Out here for sure, man. That's a that's a he, that's a walking bag, man. He a walking Brinks truck. So you know, that's what it is, man. He carries himself like that. He practices every day, man. He listens to everything, Mike. I mean, he's looking at everything Coach Raver said. You know, um, this is part of it. Man, looking back at it, I watched that preseason film. It's so bad. Like I was not playing very good. Like technique, fun. I was just you know being a football player, and just because you know when you're naturally a football player, you make plays here and there. But overall, just wasn't wasn't good. So I'm looking forward to build off of that. Um, but say it again, what would you ask me? I'm just saying, was that the <laughs> hardest part? Is that you're getting in in, yeah. the, in regular season, you're making plays, yeah, then the injury know, happens. Just what do you love the most besides your family? Uh, doing Titans radio. You know, doing imagine radio. that getting taken away from yeah. you for for like you know eight ten months, sure. and you and you can't and you're not even really in the in the building or at the radio station or anything, you're just kind of chilling at home. So that's that's kind of the hardest part, just being away from something that you love. Again, because it's just, you know, this is a business where if you're not playing, you're not in the building as much. You know, you have your outside life basically on, like, workers' comp or something like that. You're not, not around besides rehab. So it was just the hardest part was not being around something I love, you know, just feeling like you're missing a part of yourself and, you know, your best friends pretty much, your friends that you have in the city that you're at. So that, that's the hardest part. This defense is loaded. Do you feel like you're kind of the forgotten guy because of all of what happened to you last year and ready to make that next step now? Uh, forgotten, no. I think it's just you got to earn earn remembrance, you know. I was a rookie who played in some preseason games and broke his leg in the first game he played. Why would, you know, anybody know me besides the fans, you know. So I think it's more about earning the respect and the role and, and uh, joining in on that dominant <laughs> defense than just being worried about being forgotten. So I think about How that. much were you looking forward to the opportunity to get the pads on, especially being that it's been so long for you? Yeah, uh, actually a lot. Was, I was texting somebody last night, and I was like, you don't know how much I miss football. And like, I could not, they said I could not imagine missing hitting other grown men. And I was like, well, it's when something, again, you've been doing your whole life. It's just a part of you. And uh, there's nothing like getting to go out there and put the pads on and run around and make plays and hear the, hear the thud and the pop of them. So. What, what about from the perspective of being able to kind of test the leg out, see where you are, you know, that's probably going to be your first physical contact. Uh, I mean, you see how we practice? But you I mean, you know, you know it's different with pads for you guys in the trenches especially. Uh, I don't think so really, you know, they teach us to play with your hands, keep your head out of there, that's how the, the game is today. It's not that much different. Um, we're out there going, um, you might just hear the pads click a little more and 
I don't think, uh, you know, as Ty, Coach Race, whoever, I don't think they'd have me out there if it wasn't already cleared or good to go. I've been running around since OTAs and haven't been held back on anything out here. So I think, um, you know, everything's going good, and I'll just keep rolling with what they tell me from there. Um, I think like the first one or two, maybe the first one, but again, I've always just been it is what it is type of person. So out of the first two days, get your little tears out the way, and now it's back to work because that pouting about it doesn't do much. But actually, let me tell you, it's a little different because I only had one leg. I was on a scooter rolling around, so I didn't have much option but to be on the couch chilling. Um, so I just, like I said, I try to enjoy watching football. I watched, that was the most I ever watched and had my snacks and my drinks right there. Didn't have to walk far and got to just actually, you know, kind of be a fan and study the game from a different perspective. It was fun. We can, we can, um... If it's used in the right way, it could be a lot of fun for him and I. Uh, we have a good chemistry going already, so, you know, we'll see how it goes. And you have no idea until pads come. I mean, we're in underwear. Like, we're running around. It's like, it's like a glorified modeling show right now. It's, there has been some changes, obviously, on the line, but is it nice to have a guy like Ben Jones back? And the epitome of consistency, the glue of the offensive. I mean, it's, that's what Ben is, and I can be – I'm a super high-energy cat, and Ben is the same every single day. So it's going to be great if we take advantage and run hard now and then when they, the pads come on and it gets a lot harder, then we'll be ready for it. You know, like we're, you're going to be ready or not at the beginning. So it seems like it's been fine. It, uh, it, it's really no, like it's not a whole lot of difference. Like it's a, it's a physical game in the trenches, whether you're wearing pads or you're in underwear, it doesn't really matter.